Hello you guys and welcome to Reviews with Whitney D. I'm Whitney D. Let's get into this, shall we? Now don't act like you don't wanna hear what I got to say. Blah, blah, blah. No. Okay, hey you guys. So welcome to the channel of your news this. I ask that you please like, share, and subscribe. If you are a subscriber, please do not forget to click that notification bell so you know every time I upload. Okay, let's get into this, okay? 10 year old kid is out for recess. He decides to um, play dodgeball, okay? And you know that how dodgeball goes you know all of us are familiar with this game because we all played it at one point in time when we were adolescents and probably even older i tend to like to play dodgeball with my older friends but i digress the thing is is that the balls are lined up you get a ball and wham bam one in the head right well after this event you get suspended as well you catch a charge okay this was the situation with a little 10 year old boy um during school well further detailing is that the kid that was hit or assaulted was mentally challenged okay um had special needs okay and could not afford to have any head injuries okay Check out this clip about the news feed and I'm gonna get back with my commentary, okay? Mother says it was supposed to be a game, but now her 10 year old son is facing playground assault charges. He is charged with aggravated assault, accused of throwing a ball and aiming for another student's face. Seven Action News reporter Jen Shans heard from both sides tonight. She's live in Canton with a look at how this all started, Jen. Well, Dave, Carolyn, those two boys were playing outside here at Erickson Elementary back in late April when this all happened. But it wasn't until two days ago that one of the child's mother, Kamishi Lindley, learned that her 10-year-old was charged with aggravated assault in juvenile court. These kids are basically playing a game that we all have played. But on April 29th, what seemed like a harmless game ended with one student getting seriously hurt. According to the boy's mother, who asked we not show her face, he has a rare medical condition, making head injuries especially dangerous. According to a police report, during that game, another student threw a ball at his face on purpose. He sustained facial tissue damage to his face. He had a black eye and a bruised nose. Records show the then fourth grader also suffered a concussion. His condition is something Kamishi Lindley says she and her son Bryce knew nothing about. Wednesday, Bryce was charged with aggravated assault. I couldn't believe it. This is on top of a one day suspension, which occurred right after the incident. This is a kid that was playing on the playground with his friends. I tried not to let it get to this point. This mother claiming her son had been hurt before and that she reported it to the school. My son was hit twice in the face with the ball previously due to this, and the child apologized to my son and he said, Mom, it's okay. Um, we're still going to be friends. I'm unaware of any of those situations. Sorry that her child got hurt. I'd be sorry for any child that got hurt. Lindley just wishes problems like this could be solved. In okay, so you just got the opportunity to check out the clip. And as you see, the little boy was scared to death okay because he's probably just thinking like i was just playing by dodgeball okay then you also saw the mother with her head chopped off in the scene because she knows she's out of order and i don't care who agrees with me in this situation i'm a parent okay if i am a mother of a special needs child don't put my kid in no extracurriculum activities and we are in this day and age i've said it before we're in this day and age it's all inclusive you know include include my child oh my god i'm gay i'm i need to be included oh my god special needs and i need to be included in physical activities although i might endure a head injury Come on now, like we need to get out of this. Everybody wins mentality. Um, everybody needs to be included, even though in 
light of what it, the, the category is is stating doesn't include you oh but you, we want to be inclusive and so this is a result why in god why would you put your child in physical a physical situation as this now granted i know that they need to get um you know um recess and get their physical education as well but sorry that's on you mom you are if it was me if it was my job okay and even if my, my god has blessed me with children that are healthy that have no mental needs or no physical needs thank you jesus but my daughter tends to not want to play with her little brother or her older brother plays too rough now sit your butt down somewhere okay don't don't play sit down somewhere okay and she's sane and right okay and uh, no nothing you know you she done banged her head a couple of times okay i'm not gonna send my kid out on to the playground okay knowing that he's in the condition that he's in that other children at that may not be aware of okay now granted i know the teachers are probably aware of this but again, this is what I'm saying. We're in this world where it's like they got to be included. So if you're going to be included, you're going to sustain the amount of injuries as any other person in this situation is going to. Again, granted, you can say, well, you know, um, maybe even the kid, they didn't show the kid. Maybe he sh appeared to be special needs or whatever the case may be but i'm sorry i'm sorry that still does not give you an excuse it doesn't give you a cop out you're gonna get hit upside the head just like me i done got boink i'm like oh you're out with me i'm like dang it although you know that takes points off if you really play dodge where you're not supposed to do really much headshots but be honest with you there is no it's just no no off limits you know what i'm saying you you catch in you drop the ball you out you know you can thing is this i'm sorry but i feel that I, and i don't like when people do this i don't like when people do this and please in the comments below if you feel like i'm doing this call me out i'm gonna have to pull the race card on this one i'm sorry because look at this little black little ashy little boy and then she said that this happened previously well not in this situation he was in some kind of other sport or uh, athletic situation that little boy apologized and he went on about his business but you have little uh john john right here okay he couldn't apologize and my thing is to be different if the school did not do anything in regards to the situation okay he got suspended so you took it upon yourself to then go and press charge on this little 10 year old little boy you ignorant okay in the words of my my one of my favorite uh youtubers okay uh, lucas the great or lucas amazing not aggressive i'll put his link down below but he's like ignorance and that's what it is and sorry it ain't got nothing to do with being black you can be ignorant and be white and she's ignorant and then ashley from 90 day fiance is ignorant but that's another video okay what i'm talking about in regards to white people pulling pulling their cards okay all right i wonder if the other little boy they apologize to little johnny got away okay or was was he the shade of a a, a, a little little dude right on, on this video but I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I just know my perspective as a parent. I feel like, you know, I, I think I can speak on it because I'm a mother. You know, like I said, my children are healthy and they're of sound mind. But I would not even, even if I know my child is a softie, okay? You know, uh, I wouldn't put him, her, in a situation to where, oh, I know that's not going to turn out too good. You know, he, he a little soft. He get pushed over. He going to cry. Or, oh, if she gets pinched a little too hard or her hair took, mm, she's going to throw a fit. I'm not going to sit there and put my child in a situation like that. I'm going to make notes. I'm going to let them know, look, you know what I'm saying? My kid is this, that, and third. But I don't know. I don't know. Tell me what you think down in the comments below. Uh, do you agree with this mom? Like, no, that little boy deserved to get charges put on him at 10 years old. He does not hit my child upside the head during dodgeball. You hit him anywhere else. Or are you like me and you're saying, mommy, it's your fault. You shouldn't have allowed your child to go through this, especially 
especially if he has some prior experiences we're getting hurt okay during a physical activity okay I don't know. Tell me what you think down in the comments below. Let's 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 talk it out. Okay. While you're there, please take out the time to like, share, and subscribe. Already a subscriber. Oh, look at you. Go ahead and click that notification bell so you know every time I upload and sharing is caring. Please take out the time to share this video. I am trying to get myself back in the groove after losing all my videos, but uh, it's not going nowhere, even with my illiterate um speech and, and talking. Y'all see, I ain't have nothing to read to y'all, so I think I did pretty good. Nonetheless, this has been Reviews with Whitney D. I'm Whitney D. Signing off. Deuces. Now, don't act like you don't wear here what I got to say. I digress. It's exciting.